Hello, Matthew Tamian here with another video tutorial for Joomla LMS, the learning management system. In this lesson, we're going to install Joomla LMS on the back end of your Joomla website. Now, before installing, the first thing that you need to do is you want to log into their website and download your license. So if you're installing this on your web server, then you're going to need a license. So you want to go on their website, log in, and download your license file. And then next, what you want to do is you want to go to your C panel and you want to find your public folder. So whatever folder that you want this site to be connected to, you have to upload the license file there. So in my case, this is going to be on the root domain, so it's, which is the public underscore HTML. And then you click to upload. You browse and you select the file wherever you stored it. So now the file is successful install. And next, you want to go back to your back end. Now there are two ways that you can be able to install this. You can either click or browse for file or you can just drag and drop this on your back end. So I'm going to drop this here on the back end and give it a few moments to install. So once the download has been successfully completed, you're going to get this message. So now what's going to happen is that it's going to auto redirect you uh, to check your database process to make sure that everything is working smoothly. And there's something that happens every time that you install or upgrade it. So you have the option of just waiting or you can also click here. I'm just going to let it auto redirect. So once you auto redirect you to this page, you just have to give it a few moments and it's going to go through to make sure that everything is in place, the structure and everything is properly set. So it's going through step three or five. And once again, this is really incredible because it goes through to make sure that uh, your site is healthy. Check your database because your database, that's where all the information has been stored in uh, to make sure that, you know, nothing gets out of whack. So it's going through that for you step by step. And once it's complete, then it lets you know. So once the process is complete, then you get this message here and it shows you all this information about the templates, the plugins, the modules, just to let you know that this was installed and the status of it is okay. The component has a back end feature and the front end as well. So let's take a look at the back end. So it says about Joomla LMS and it gives you a little bit of information about that. You can click on user management. You can click on CSV operations and I'm going to be going through all the details about each one, but I want to give an overview of the back end and also what the front end looks like once you get everything set up. And you can check out group members, student management, certificates, waiting list, and you have course management to, to make your courses so you can be able to manage them. You can check out the course templates and you have the course categories. You have configurations. You can be able to configure the parents. Uh, integration with uh, CB Community Builder, uh, some tips, menu manager, and you have the emails. This is where you deal with all the emails to send out emails to the students in the global settings form. And then you have your subscription. You can check out your sales report, the payment list. This deals with all the financial aspect of your, your school or your, your store here. And then you have the plugins. Uh, you can show the plugins that are currently installed. Of course, and you have maintenance. So this is the back end part of it now. Let's take a look at the front end. So in order for you to see what the front end looks like, you would have to create a new menu and connect that menu with this. So to do so, you go to menus and you can choose if you want to create this menu on the, the, the main menu of your site or a different menu, uh, then you can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a menu that's not uh, visible on the front end on my site unless you type in that specific URL. So I'm going to go over to hidden here and then click on add menu. And then I'm just going to call this courses and then go to where it says menu item type and then just locate Joomla LMS. Now, when you click on this, here, you have several options that you can link to. And I'm going to show you how to utilize some of this later on. Uh, but for now, we're just going to click on the LMS homepage. This is going to show you the homepage of the extension. You have the library subscriptions and so on. So you click on LMS homepage. And you want to make sure that you set this to publish and you can connect this with whatever menu that you want it to be. Now, where it says template, because the Joomla LMS have its own template, uh, I recommend that you use that template. Or if you want to integrate it with your existing site, you can do that as well. And let me show you what that looks like. So right now, when I click on my drop down here, it's going to show you all the menus, all the templates that you've currently installed on your website. So you have the Joomla LMS right here. So I'm just going to leave the default to show you what it looks like. So if you've installed it on your server and you want to see how it integrates with your existing site. So you click on save. You're going to get this message that says menu item saved. So let's go to the front end and see what it looks like. 
So this is what you're going to get. And because this is the uh, framework template that I've integrated and using with the site, it blends in. But if you want to use the template that comes with uh, Joomla LMS to do so, you go back to the menu and you find where it says template style. This is where all your template styles are located and you click on the drop down and you're going to see Joomla LMS default. You click on this and then you click on save and close. So now when you refresh that page, you notice that you have something that looks completely different. So once you log into the front end, you notice it has your name here and it has the courses you created, it has subscriptions, and it has tools. Uh, right now everything is still there, we haven't done anything to it yet. So when you get this and your site looks like this, that means that you've successfully installed the Joomla LMS component. So in the next lesson, we're gonna take a look at each of these and see how it works and how to get your site built up and start adding courses, uh, management, subscription. So we're gonna cover all this. You wanna definitely make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, so that anytime that I release a brand new course specifically about the Joomla LMS, you're gonna be the first person to get it.